Hi guys, in this video, I will talk about the parents' meta kids mastery issues. So, in the first video, I will talk about the parents' meta in here nowadays. So, let's show you the what is uh, my kids mastery issue nowadays in here. So, people who didn't show the parents' meta video of my video, I will summarize what is parents' meta first. Normally, uh, in KR with the 1640 characters, armor for transcendence characters normally go to hard mode Echidna, Kamen, and Beimos. And with 1640, but if they don't have the no transcendence, they normally go to normal mode Kamen, Echidna, and hard mode Ivory Tower. Because these hard mode this armor for transcendence characters normally go to these dungeons and get the 60k gold for a week. And with, if they go to hard mode, it is 80k with two weeks and these normal mode characters only get the 40k gold in near so except that hard mode gate for common gold difference is 20k between them but in, because of the parents meta if they pay the 50k gold for the 80 plus arc passive user this arc passive user now course it is parents the parents took the no transcendence characters which is keys to armor for transcendence loom to 60 plus arc passive loom. So by doing this meta, these parents can get additional gold without any boss stress because this get the 15k gold to the kids, and these kids can get more clear gold and ingredients of the tier 4 accessories, bracelet, and tier 4 ingredients. And in here, this 80 plus arc passive plus 2 keys is stronger than 3 armor for transcendence users. And 80 plus arc passive plus 1 keys is stronger than 2 60 plus arc passive users. So there is no reason for the armor for transcendence or 60 plus arc passive users to reject the parents plus keys combinations. Then what is problem now? In here, then parents and kids is not a boss. So normally, no gimmick difference should be happen. Why? The keys is normally based on they are expert but just spec is so character is a little weak so hard to go late with the solo. So they just pay to the parents and go the uh, very good spec loom. So for no transcendence character can go the 60 plus arc passive loom because of his parents. So he buy that entrance entrance trust by the paying gold to the 80 plus. So it means it is not a boss and parent uh, kids should be also expertizer. But nowadays there are kids that master problem problems. So who is imposter in normal rooms are going the homework room with paying the gold by parents. But if they die before some gimmick is happen like common gate to counter or other things then that gimmick problem is happen like when kids die before the common gate for 175 HP pattern, then seven people and eight people protect is difference in near. Also, it is possible to do it with six people of that pattern, but normally Hormak Loom, who don't did the who didn't do any boss in gate for, don't know how to detect it. In this timing, it is sport is go to the kids. Also, if kids make the big mistake, in here, the parents and kids don't know each other. They just do that relationship because of that gold. But if kids make problems, there is also bad words to the parents is happen. So it is what is happening now in care of that problem. The kids is imposter, but say they are expertizer and get the parents and go to the good room. So nowadays, kids said, can I use Spirit Absorption and Armor and Vital Engraving, which is don't have any damage options? So pros and cons about that situation that he's asking, can they use um, Survive Engraving, not Damage Engraving, and just they will do the gimmicks? Pros case. If kids use Engraving with Survive and Gimmicks Engraving, clear will be easier than thinking they are dead because they don't take the survive engraving and just get damage engraving and if they are dead then clear speed is slower but if they take just survivor survive and gimmick engravings then clear will be easier 
suggest that they are dead case. Also, if they have the survive and gimmick engravings, it is much stronger than just go with or armor transcendence because of his parents. So it is summarized of even if he takes the survive and engra uh, gimmick engraving, we have one gimmick man and one hyper damage carry man. So there is no reason to reject that situation. Cons, if he is dead, they want to use the surviving grabbing, they are not expert. Why they come from a gloom? It is not a boss. And normally, if he are a, he is the person who will be die because they don't have the surviving grabbings, it is also have high percent that they will be dead with that also surviving grabbing in his their thinking, so it is not acceptable. In my thinking, in logically, there is no problem still damage is faster and gimmick become easier because of that gimmick man is happened. But thinking emotionally, why he come here? It is just important, imposter if he, he say it like that, so nowadays. But still because of that super hyper carry damage man make game clear much faster, parents and kid meta in here now. Also, that price of that Parents is very cheap, 15k gold for common hard mode, Akina hard mode, and Bamos. That options. And it is another story that in KL notice month, if 1640 arc passive is patched and new ladies open, maybe that parents meta will be dead in my thinking. So thank you for watching.